Greetings, friends. Happy Thursday to all of you. So, friends, the big news today is that Democratic Senator Joe Manchin has just put forward his new plans. This proposal would help Americans financially, while also addressing the rising cost of living. Other Democrats are also now pushing to use a budget reconciliation process. So please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn about all the details. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. To enter the giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on with the keyword, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. They don't need to raise them by a trillion or whatever it is they're talking about to fund more expansion, expansion of government. Uh, the federal government has more revenue today uh, coming in as a percentage of GDP than it has at any time since the year 2000. And as the leader pointed out, income tax on the, on the individual side, corporate side, capital gains taxes, revenues all up. And thanks in large part to the good work that was done in 2017, uh, on the uh, jobs cuts and or job <laughs> tax cuts and jobs act, uh, I just want to speak briefly about um, the president's current proposal, which is to suspend temporarily uh, the gas tax. This is yet another example of this administration's failure on an issue that is fundamental to the American people, and that is the price they're paying for a gallon of gasoline. Five dollars is the national average right now. And if you, if the, what the administration, of course, is coming up with is yet another gimmick, uh, another band-aid, and something they know. So, friends, here is the breaking news. A spokesperson for West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin confirmed that he will vote against President Biden's proposed gas tax holiday. Biden has already called on Congress lawmakers to suspend federal taxes on gas and diesel for at least three months. This would cut 18 cents per gallon on gas and 24 cents on diesel for drivers. During an interview with ABC News, Senator Manchin said he has several concerns. He added, I'm not a yes right now, that's for sure. Manchin also stated that he was not concerned to put another hole in the budget. He was referring to the Federal Gas Tax Highway Trust Fund which is a major source of funding for highway building and repairs. Senator Manchin also pointed out that if the gas tax holiday is paused for three months, it would be scheduled to go right back into effect in September. That is right before elections. Manchin was also hesitant to sign a bill that would remove a resources for improved infrastructure. He also told reporters, we need a lot of adjustments made. The last point that Senator Manchin made in his interview with ABC News was that this would only be a short-term fix. Americans are cutting back at the gas pump and not just the amount of fuel they put in their tanks. Consumers are also changing the way that they fill their grocery bags with rest stop food and other essentials. The average price of gas is hovering around $5 a gallon after it recently crossed the mark for the first time on record. American households are paying too much for gas at the same time that inflation has made grocery purchases and utility bills much more expensive. So friends, why do you think our government is taking so long to get help to the American people? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Here is more breaking news, friends. Several Republican senators have just joined scores of Democratic lawmakers in calling for the U.S. to reinstate child tax credit payments. For more than a year, Democrats like President Biden, Senator Sherrod Brown, Michael Benet, Cory Booker, Ron Wyden, Reverend Raphael Warnock, and Vice President Harris have advocated for regular child tax credit payments to aid families struggling to feed and clothe their children. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders spoke from the Senate floor stating that the Senate has strange priorities for fighting against a program that helped lift 3.7 million children out of poverty during the worst of the crisis. But instead, Congress passed a $53 billion bill to help the microchip industry. Sadly, food insecurity was not even addressed.
Today, rather than support the child tax credit plan, pushed for months now by their Democratic colleagues, three Republicans have staked claim to a plan of their own. The Family Security Act 2.0 is meant to help many families across the United States. Under this plan, eligible parents would receive $350 per month for each child age 5 or younger, and then $250 per month for children ages 6 to 17. This bill was introduced by Senator Mitt Romney and is co-sponsored by Senators Richard Burr and Steve Daines. The existing $2,000 credit per child was raised to $3,600 for children ages 5 and younger, and to $3,000 for children ages 6 through 17. If a parent opted in, half the credit was sent in monthly payments beginning in July 2021 and ended in December of last year. The other half of the credit was collected when 2021 tax returns were filed. But what was exceptional about the bill is that it allowed parents who typically earn too little to file income taxes to receive the same payments. According to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, this helped reduce childhood poverty by more than 40%. Friends, the key word for this video is Niagara Falls. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click in like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Niagara Falls and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Child tax credit payments help so many people that former Treasury Secretaries Robert Rubin and Jacob Liu wrote an article in the New York Times calling to make the child tax credit permanently available to families with little or no income. According to Robert Rubin and Jacob Liu, even if the child tax credit remained capped at $2,000 per child, child poverty would be reduced by 20%. So friends, please let me know what your thoughts are on the child tax credit payments. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and fabulous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for watching my videos and joining me here daily. I greatly appreciate all of you. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Diana Saylor. Congratulations, my friend. Please note that if I have named you as the winner, do check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.